Hi ladies, it is Karen here and we are going to be talking about how to load up your signature page. And so let's pop over to the app and you can go over to uh, lifestyles.app. I find it is easiest to load up your page on your computer and then you can tap right into your files. So here we are on the home page, and we're going to go to the three dots go to forms and you'll see uh, different forms. We will go over each one of these separately, right? Today, we are just going to talk about loading up your um, page for the first time. And just know too that uh, we do update this every once in a while and there is an update coming, but for now, this is the way the form looks. So we're just going to go with it. Um, you're going to choose your listing, which section you would like your information to reside. Your main offer is that top, thumbnail, that, um, that top graphic, that top description, and the title that appears on the thumbnail. So you're going to um, choose a graphic. You just hit the button and it goes directly to your, to your um, files and you can just tap on one and hit enter and it'll load that up. Your, the title for your main offer, uh, you want something catchy, something that will grab the attention of the reader. And um, uh, you can always, you know, I always use ChatGPT to come up with different ideas or to spur some ideas of my own. And so uh, you can, you know, come up with something really great, I'm sure. Uh, member discount, you will want a member discount or a bonus. Um, that is one of the things that we feature. And so when we feature your offer in uh, the social media, this is what we grab is this discount because we're good doing exclusive discounts just for faith members. And so that's how we are promoting it. Um, so either whether it's a discount or a bonus, uh, you'll want to ex uh, uh, include that. Uh, the main offer details. So we are coming up with some um, um, um details around how long it should be. Um, if this can be under 1500 characters, that would be great. Along with your main graphic too, I forgot to mention that, uh, that should be a rectangle. We use the Facebook cover size on Canva. We will have that coming out with the exact details with the, um, the numbers for you in our next update. But for right now, you can just type in uh, Facebook cover size in Canva if that's what you use or use a rectangle. Also with your graphic too, you want to remember, let the picture do the talking. Um, you, one of the things about our app, it's a mobile app, it's a website, and it also grabs a thumbnail. So that's three different sizes that are presented um, in different spaces. So um, that's why I say let the picture do the talking rather than trying to have lots of words on the graphic, because some of the words might get cut off. And so what you will want to see is um, um, the the whatever words you use, just right in the center. And so we will give you an example here in just a second as we go over to someone's page and show you what that might look like. And we'll talk through all of this uh, in, in a little bit more detail. And so the call to action, where do you want people to go? Do you want them to go to uh, your a website? Do you want them to go to a Facebook page? Do you want them to go to a landing page? Or do you have a, you know, a download or a freebie link? Um, so it can be a bit link or whatever you have there. This next section is about you. This is not go going for the app. It is for our information. So we have these things on, on hand about you. Um, but let's go to the body of the of your signature page. So that top offer will can change from month to month if you would like it to. And your updates will always be on between the 20th and the first of the month. We load the app on Mondays. And so um, just keep that in mind. Um, we only upload once a week. And so that's what that looks like. And so if you ever have any um, questions, you can always reach out to me. I'm here for you. Let's make this light and breezy. To load this up should not take you more than 30 minutes because you already have the information most likely. You, either on your website, you can take that information. And actually, however, what I am finding, whatever you have on your website is usually the order that this should go as well. So again, if you need help, we I am here for you. Just reach out and schedule a time. Um, the details for the body of the page and this part will stay static. So think 
what you, how you would like your page to be. So this next section, I always suggest that you put your about so they ladies know who you are. So maybe that's a graphic, uh, a picture of you, uh, a little bit of details about you and where would you like them to go? The next section in the body, um, number two, is what um, I usually um, would suggest either your another product or service that is uh, that is not like a workshop or something that changes, but something that is static because this is going to stay the same. And so what other products and services, maybe your coach, so maybe that's your one-on-one um, -on -one or your group or whatever that looks like for you. And then the third one too, you can put testimonials, you can do a downloadable. Um, it's really up to you. So however you would like that to work. So that is an overview of what that looks like. And so let's go quickly over to an example and what that might look like for you. So also what I suggest is find a page that you like and follow that format. If you are unsure about what you would like your page to look like, I am going to go over to your best self and we're going to scroll down to Brenda Reese's page. Um, here you can see, she does have words, but they're right in the center. So it presents well, because as you can see, it's also a thumbnail and the thumbnail is a different size. And so you want to make sure that that um, looks great. She's got a nice title. She's got a short and sweet little description and how to how to connect. She's got a lovely another photo. In her second spot, she chose to do testimonials. You can do your about, you can do testimonials, either one, whatever that looks like for you. The next section, she said, are you ready? She has a downloadable. It's a really great quiz that you can take. And so she is using many different ways for people to connect with her. And the next one is ways to work with Brenda. And then she has her forgiveness tips. So that she has a really lovely page. Uh, that's a great one to use for an example. And so, yes, ladies, if you have any questions, again, uh, create that page. If you need help, we are here for you. We want to make this light and breezy. So happy connecting.